Hello, in today's tutorial, I got a question about making photo albums in PowerPoint. Now, let me show you the two options. One option is to select insert and select the native PowerPoint function, which is called photo albums. What you need to know, this function is pretty old. What I mean by old, it's kind of legacy because, for example, if I have pictures, I cannot drag and drop them here like that. I have to search for the pictures, I have to select them, and I have to insert them. Okay, once they are inserted, you basically have those options. You can fit them to slide, so each picture will be one slide, or you can make, for example, two pictures on one slide. You can see a small preview here. You can change the frame shape. It isn't something special because you can do this with one click in PowerPoint, but this option does that for you. So let's say that I want to have this photo album two pictures a slide. Okay, I can select this two pictures or two pictures with title if I want text with it. So I select two pictures. All should be selected. And I can select create. This way, I will create a new PowerPoint file with a photo album. Okay, the photo album, what are the advantages? It does everything for us. What is the disadvantage? As you can see, it crops the photographs to fit both on one screen. So one is bigger, one is, for example, higher. It also depends on the picture itself. What is the second option to do photo albums? I'll show you a little trick. You can create a new slide. You can take any amount of pictures you want. For example, if you want more on one slide, boom, you can drag and drop them. Now I'll zoom out a little bit with control and my scroll wheel and I will select all pictures. You can believe me, all of those pictures are selected. The big shortcut here will be going to picture format, picture layout and just selecting a layout. You can see, do not worry because mm, this is a PowerPoint smart art, but we can change that. For example, I'll select this rectangle layout. I can now right click, oh sorry, I need to select actually this, this very shape, right click, group, ungroup, and this is no longer a PowerPoint smart art. This is just a group of objects. Then I click again, group, ungroup, and boom. I can even delete the text boxes if I don't like them, or I can use them to write here something. I can, for example, leave this text box here. And the big benefit of using that is that all pictures are cropped equally. So this is basically how I would go about going a photo album. Either you use insert and you select photo album, you select files and you make PowerPoint do this automatically for you, or you just drag and drop pictures, how many you want on a slide. Uh, you go to picture format and you select its layout. As you can see, we have a bunch of basic layouts. Of course, you can adjust this later, but using the layout is just a smart, quick and convenient way. So this would be used when there's more pictures and if you want them to be equal like this. And the photo album can be used if you want automate the process. Okay, pretty simple. I think this is a good trick, but there are certain situations which we will use this and with where we can't use this.